Welcome back to Uncensored. My next guest has been a GP with the NHS for 25 years, working as a mentor for recently qualified doctors at his surgery in Harrow, northwest London. Dr. Wahid Azif Shader has another less wholesome identity as leader of an Islam Islamic extremist group, which was recently caught on camera calling for jihad and anti-Israel demonstration. What is the solution to liberate people in the concentration camp from Palestine? Jihad! What is jihad, the solution? Jihad! 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 Dr. Shader, also known as Abdul Wahid, joins me. Now, well, welcome to you. Thank you for coming in today. Um, you've come from your work as an NHS GP. Yeah. Um, let me first just ask you your reaction to the clip we just played. These are members of your organisation and they're allowed chance of, of jihad on the streets of London. Do you think that's acceptable? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Um, that demonstration mm. was a very carefully planned demonstration where the placards, the banners, the speeches from the platform were calling for a military intervention of official armies of Muslim countries to rescue the people of Gaza with a situation of a civilian population of two million who are being massacred and slaughtered. Anywhere else in the world, you would find it a completely straightforward thing for people calling for military intervention. But they weren't calling, army. they weren't chanting, we want military intervention. They were chanting jihad. So, you, so my, my question for you yeah. is simply, do you support the chanting of jihad? The chanting of jihad by somebody that unscripted... Well, quite a few people, though. Uh, actually, actually, no, it was about two people. So you would, you would condemn that? Of course I wouldn't condemn that. You wouldn't? No, because jihad in that context mm. is to... They, as they understood it and they were chanting, is for the official armies of Muslim countries to enter and intervene. We're in a situation now, Piers, where 1% of the population of Gaza mm. has been killed. Mm in the space of two months. 1% of the children of Gaza have been killed. Anywhere else in the world, you yourself called for military intervention in Ukraine by NATO with probably less legal and moral cause than there is in Gaza. When we stand... Really? Oh, absolutely. Because the... So you think that when Vladimir Putin illegally invaded Ukraine, that the moral right of Ukrainians to respond is somehow equivalent to the moral right of people in Palestine after October the 7th to do the same. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that the people of Ukraine have actually one of the most powerful armies in the region. It doesn't change the fact the, they were the illegally people, invaded, does people, it, Doctor? The people of Gaza have nobody helping mm. them. Well, they do. They have no, Hamas. They have a they terrible... They have nobody helping them. Well, hang on, them. hang on. They have a terrorist organisation called Hamas. They have nobody helping them. They've got 30,000 terrorists... They have. ...who committed on October the 7th they an act of unspeakable them. terrorism. They have lined up against them the murderous Israeli Defence Force. Mm. They have lined up against them the United States who this week, today in the Washington Post, it was said that the white phosphorus that's being used by the IDF mm. is supplied by them. They have lined up against them the Britain and the EU. They have lined up against them the Arab rulers in the region mm. who carry on their trade cooperation. Listen, I, as I've made clear, Doctor, I, I think a lot of the response from Israel, particularly right now, I would deem to be testing everyone's sense of what is proportionate, right? There's no question... I do not subscribe to the that, view it's sorry, genocide. Well, that no, that is finish. the understatement of well, the century. Possibly, but I think, they have a, I think they have a right to defend themselves against a terror group and, and who have gone on record in the last two weeks as saying they want to do what happened on October 7th again of and the again. of the children of I Gaza. I understand. It's, it's horrific. It's it, horrific. It's beyond, play, it's then, beyond horrific. Well, it's, because, it's horrific, Because right? literally what we are watching, what we are watching on our phones, mm. on our laptops, mm. on our TVs... Is, is an extension of what's been happening since 1940. Let me play you your reaction. The, uh, uh, All right, the, but let, the, I understand. The, let me the, play you, after October the 7th, a few days later, you took part in a talk on YouTube and you said this. Brave Mujahideen, they gave the enemy a punch on the nose. Mm. All right? And, and it's a very welcome punch on the nose. How, how can you categorise a terror attack in which 1,200 mostly innocent civilian people were brutally attacked, raped, tortured, beheaded and murdered. How can you, a British NHS doctor or NHS doctor in Britain, how can you say that's a welcome punch on the nose? Will you let me answer fully? Yes. I will be frank. I'll be as concise as I can be. 
but if you give me the courtesy of letting me answer fully. Okay. I will defend the right of the Palestinians to, to resist an occupation. When you look at that... It's not resistance, that's terrorism. When you look at what happened on the 7th of October, as if that is the day that everything started... I didn't say that. You didn't say that, but when people look at Do you at think that, what happened that day was a terrorist attack? When people look... Well, do you? Do you? You know, the, wor the word terrorism has become so... Uh, uh, politicised. Actually, not really. The, no, the, 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 the word, the word you terrorism... You can be deeply sympathetic the, the to word, the plight of Palestinian civilians, which I am, by the way, and I've expressed many the, times. The word what terrorism. you can't do is be weasley mouthed about what happened no, on no, October no. the 7th. I asked you to that let me finish. That was a grotesque I, I will terror ask attack. You to finish. Yeah, but you're, you're equivocating no, about it being a terror I'm not, attack. I'm not equivocating, and I will explain why, OK? The, the, the word terrorism, by the way, in India last, last month... We're not talking about India. Talk about, it, talk about it, the word terrorism in India... People who supported the Australian cricket team have been mm. arrested under terrorist offences. Mm. In the West Bank, people who are revealing... have been told, if you reveal what happened in the prisons, you will be arrested on terrorist Do you charges. think what happened October the 7th no, was a terror attack? It's a, it's a Did you say no? It's a resistance... Not a terror attack? Piers, if, if, and it's You're if... You're NHS GP. If, if, I'm asking you to let me finish, if... Right, our, our Islamic standard in conflict, in warfare, our prophet, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mm. he said, you can't kill children, you can't kill women, you can't kill the elderly, you can't mutilate. Hamas so did all if, that. If anybody did that, if, if... What do you mean, if? I say if because... They literally broadcast it on their own streaming and platforms. You, and, well, I'll tell you what a lot of us saw. Hamas okay. broadcast and, it merrily to the world. And what, here's, here's us doing these terrible things. And what many what of, do you mean, if? What many of us saw on that day were videos coming out showing people saying, we will not harm women, we will not harm oh, children. Oh, do me a favour. No, no, that's what... Doctor! I, I, I'm saying that, I'm saying that. Resistance is a right in Islam. It's a right in international law. It's even a right that Churchill said in his History of the English-Speaking Peoples that is, he, actually, he actually wrote in that book, it is a primary right of men mm. to kill and die for the land they live in. You literally and just went, read me a description went, of went, what people who follow Islam are not supposed to do. Yeah. And Hamas did all of those and then, things. And, and, but your response is to say, well, hang on, I've seen videos of them saying, we don't want to do that stuff. No, I, yes. I find that pretty offensive, Doctor. I find... We all know they did it because it, they boasted to the world I, with their own videos I what they it, were doing. I find it amazing that respected journalists like yourself yeah. have seemed to have suspended their critical faculties. No, no, I'm, I'm believing what Hamas wanted me to see. Well, you're believing what you saw. No, no, you, what Hamas themselves attack. broadcast to the world because they wanted to take great okay. glee let in me, what they'd let done. Me, let me, uh, there's, I, no, there's no ambiguity about it. I asked you to let me finish and I'm going to... You've got to answer questions. I, I will answer the question. Let's agree on a principle. If atrocities were committed, mm. right, I will never condone them, right? I will say that. So do you condemn what happened on October the 7th? If atrocities are committed, you know who's what responsible? What do you mean, if? Who's no, they were. Who's responsible for it then? Ah, so you don't condemn it? OK, who is responsible well, the Jews for it? bought it on themselves? No, actually, I would say more, more than that. I would say the powers that believe mm. that Israel should be a colony for themselves in the Middle East, they are the ones responsible. Do you know what? I'm really struggling. I've got to be honest with you. I'm really struggling. Do you not, that do you a national, a British National Health Service doctor of 25 years, yes. a man who's supposed to be seeing patients all day, every day, and putting them right, is incapable of saying what happened when it was literally broadcast to the world by a terror group. Nor do you think they're terrorists. You think it's I, resistance. You seem to want to go any way to justify it. You don't even believe what they showed us with their with their own technology. And I'm, I'm just curious, you, you do, do you think any of this is compatible with you being a doctor in the don't, National Health Service? You don't have to be a doctor... Do your patients want know, to, know that do, you believe do you, these things? You don't have to be a doctor to care for the lives of two million people in Gaza. You don't have to be no, a doctor... I'm concerned about whether your patients here yeah. in this country were Hamas or a prescribed terrorist yeah. organisation. And I've said to whether you... Whether listening to this I've interview... Said to you, do, these, do these patients I have, know your I views? have said to you... Do they know your views? Well, I don't talk to my patients about my views in a 10-minute consultation, right. do I? Nobody does that. It's just a foolish question, isn't right. it? Right. That's a foolish question, yeah? Nobody talks to Why patients. do you use a different name? For the... I use my name. Well, my you don't. Name... You have two names. One, the leader of the group. Yeah. Abdul Wahid is a name that mm. family, friends and other people call me. Right. Actually, even some people... Well, that's not work. the name you use at, at work, right? Even some people at work. 
And, Abdul, and Wahid Asif Shader is my legal name, which mm. people use in other forums. That's not a very unusual In thing. May 2023, a Piers, prominent... No, I have on. to... No, no, you, no, I'm going to ask you another you question. You did not give me the courtesy you know of letting why? me finish. You know why? Because your answers were so outrageous. Okay, so outrageous. you censor. That's your answer. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't absolutely. censor. The person doing the censoring no. is you, No, with you respect, are censoring. ..who wants me to you try and understand and believe that what Hamas showed us boasted about with their own technology broadcasting it to the world was not what we saw. You, that's called censorship. Well, I tell that you, is actually I, the purest I, personification I tell you, I tell you of what, censoring the truth you bring, I've ever encountered. When you bring Mark Regev onto the show yeah. and you, you question him, lightweight questioning, mm -hmm. it, albeit lightweight questioning, yeah. about the atrocities that have happened Well, you think it's then. lightweight. I, give, yeah. I actually ask no, difficult yeah, questions. Actually, you don't, you don't ask difficult questions, mm. yeah? You completely accept. You listen, mm. sit there and listen to the most ridiculous mm. explanations... Unlike of, you and your answers, you mean. Well, you don't give me the chance to say no, that. No, I've heard your answers. No, you didn't. You oh, didn't. oh, I have. You didn't. You I have. Have. You didn't. You don't. Well, let me. Okay, let's do no, a little quick you're fire. Telling, you're telling the answer. Let's do a little you're quick fire the, recap. Do you think Hamas are a terror group? I believe it's a resistance organization. Okay. Do you think what they did in October the seventh was a terror attack? I believe that if civilians got killed on that day, it, if it is, it is if. appalling. If. It is appalling. You're a doctor, man. It is appalling. You're a doctor in I the also NHS. Believe, what do you I mean also if? Believe Twelve hundred people got massacred. And. One percent of no, the no. population. I can Gaza share died. your concerns about what's happened. You know you do. Oh no, I do. No, no you oh, don't. Oh no, I do. Sixteen I do. years. But Sixteen years. I cannot years believe they live a doctor camp. is saying the word. Sixteen. If people got a, a victims of atrocity, if if on October the seventh. How can you say that? So what? You tell me this. What is a proportionate response to 16 years no, no, of living focus. in a cage? No, no. no. What is a proportionate? Not response? a terror attack. What, what is Not it? Not a terror so attack. If they did, if they just attacked IDF, yeah, I've asked just, many times. If just, what is proportionate? So do you right? accept that? So you're saying just just to attack the IDF would have been acceptable? I personally do not believe... Answer that. I'm is answering just this... To attack Let me answer the your IDF question. Acceptable? I'm going to say this. We might I be think, able to agree. I we might the, be able to agree. I think the strategy no. at the moment... Can we, can we answer Let that? me answer the if question. They had agreed, Let me answer the question. Answer. Let me answer the yes question. Yes or no? The, what if they had the just answer, attacked military targets? My view, acceptable? my view of what they're doing is I don't think it's going to work. I don't think the IDF well, is going to eradicate Hamas. We, and if that is the mission could, statement... We could agree on and that. And in the process, we could agree they on kill that. tens of thousands of innocent men, women and children. Yeah. If they do that, I think they will radicalise an entire new generation yeah. and make it worse. That's my honest view yeah. of what I'm now so, witnessing. So, but let me come so back to... That's but, why, hang on. That's why when we talk about a military intervention, it's, it's, actually, actually what, happened, what we want. But, yeah. Doctor, what happened on October 7th wasn't a military intervention. No, no. What it was we a want, terror attack. What we want as a military intervention... And you don't even think it happened. Do you? What we want is a military intervention from Muslim armies mm. to re rescue a beleaguered people and replace the an Palestinian apartheid system. Palestinian people have to be given the same human rights. Would you do me the respect. They have to be given. Cement, no, no, I will no. interrupt you. It's not your show. No. You don't just talk forever. Well, right. What's the, the point of asking? I'm going to tell you what I think about the Palestinian plight, which I've talked about many times. You've obviously missed it. I think they should be given the same human rights as everybody you else, think that and for particularly years the same rights of the Israelis. I think it's been a 75-year think... conflict with, no, with... Oh, conflict. Yes, a conflict. conflict. Yes, a where, conflict. Where people have been driven out yes, of their homes. Yes, a conflict. 750,000 yes, people in it's the wrong. Nakba. That was wrong. Encroaching on that the was West wrong. Bank more and more and that more. That was wrong. No. So have been all the wars launched against Israel. That's been wrong. All of it is wrong. Right? The history shows this is a conflict riddled Things with wrongs on both sides, on the 7th right? Of October. But that, no, it but didn't. You, I never said it did. Well, you seem to. No, you, hold you whole, don't even think it happened. The whole October the 7th. framing of no, your debate. You don't here. even think it happened. I do think it happened. Oh, you did. It happened. It did happen. happen. It twelve hundred people were massacred. Weren't I they? think twelve hundred people were killed. Were they massacred? Yeah, they were killed. Right they by terrorists. Killed. They were killed by people who were resisting an occupation. Bullshit. And they're terrorists. Yeah, well, that's your view. It is it? my view. Yeah. And by the way, it's the view of any, any person who is, is not Israeli or Palestinian, right? Anyone can look at it and go... I disagree with that. Oh, I disagree okay. with that. One man, have you not heard Let the me, adage, wanna... one man's terrorist is another man's freedom yeah. fighter? Have you never heard Again, that? bullshit. Have you never heard Let me, that? Let me just play... I want to just read you this. In May 2023... Lukmar Makim, who's a prominent member of your organisation, called for an end to the secular order so that, quotes, the UK will no longer be able to pump its liberal filth, its LGBT filth, its feminist filth into the heart of the Muslim world. Do you agree with him? I agree that the West is pumping secular democracy into the Muslim world. And Including I, LGBT filth? I, I agree that, actually, what we want to see in the Muslim world mm. is a system with an accountable government, right, an elected leader, 
upholding family values, mm. right? We want to see uh, an economic system where wealth is circulated. Do you believe in equal rights for gay people? I believe, I believe that actually the, the Islamic standard of law should be the standard of law in the country. In the, obviously, that's the standard I believe in. So, so, and I believe, so just to clarify, I believe in, I what believe, is your view of homosexuality? I believe homosexuality is a sin. A sin, it's wrong. Sin. So when gay people come to your, your practice, do you treat them? Oh, of course. Why? Because I treat all my patients with kindness and without Do you tell them that you think what they do is a sin? What an absurd thing to say. Why, why wouldn't you why be would, why upfront would I about say that? that? Why would huh? I say that? Because they don't come... Why don't you try going back to your come, surgery they tomorrow? They don't come to me. Why don't you go to surgery tomorrow and say, before we go any further to your patients, what? I want you to know what I think. I think that I agree with the guy who said do, do you, that the, the, do you, do you the, understand this country that, is full of LGBT do you, filth, do you, no, do feminist you, do you filth. Understand? I don't think Hamas are a terror group. I don't think what they did on October the 7th was a terror attack. And by the way, do you want me now to treat you? Do you, want, do you understand what... I don't understand any of that. ...professional integrity is... Oh, you, you think that's that? professional integrity? No, I think professional integrity is treating the people I treat with yeah. respect and with kindness. How do I know you fairness. do? Well, they know I do. Do they? Oh, yeah. Do they? Oh, yeah. Do they know you think they're filth? I didn't say that they're filth. You, you agreed with I what he said? I didn't agree with what he said. You said, I agree. No, I agree. Well, I can play the tape back I if agree, you like. I agree with the fact that the Muslim world should have the Islamic system. Mm. Yeah, I didn't say I agree with I don't use words. You like want full that, Sharia law for this country? For this country, hmm. I'm working for... Our group works for Islam, the restoration of Islam in the Muslim world. What about here? We work, we work to uphold Islamic values in our personal life and in the Muslim community. What about, do you want Sharia law try. here or not? I would love... You know what? You'd love it? No, i tell you what. The, in this last two months, one of the strangest things has been where people here have been looking at the people in Gaza mm. and they've been going and looking and reading the Quran. Mm. And they've been looking at it. And I'd invite you and your but audience to, to do that. Just to clarify. I would do that. And, and they, clarify. And you they would like Sharia law here. And they are not convinced by these yeah, neo, neocon, neocon Would you like Sharia law here? And caricatures of Islam, are they? Actually, people, I don't think. People who, all I've done is ask you straightforward questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've revealed your beliefs in the answers. No. <laughs> Yeah, you have. I, 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 you may not even realise what you've I, done, but I, you have. I believe in Islamic law, mm. and I don't believe in the caricature that you try and present of Islam. Would you like Sharia law in this country? I would love to see. I would love to see you want Sharia law in this country. I don't want Sharia law in this country. Well, that's your wish. But you would. Yeah, but I no. I, I would, would you? I believe it's the. I believe it's the best system. But so I'm you, not working. I'm not working. Would you Spanish. like it in this country? I would. I'm not working. Yes or no. The, I believe in Islamic... You know the, yes or no? You know, the Islamic civilization yes no? was the only civilization... You'd be very quick to answer everything else. Yes or no? The Islamic civilization was the only civilization that brought peace to the Middle East for mm -hmm. Muslims, Jews and Christians. I would love to see that system there. Wouldn't you like to see a system... Who pays, who pays you your like salary? To, wouldn't you like to see a who system... Who pays your salary? ...where Muslims, Jews and Christians would live side by side in the Middle East? I don't want this country to live under Sharia law. I'm, it's not talking about the Middle, I'm talking about Middle East. No, but you suggested you wanted it to be under Sharia law no, here. You suggested. Do you or not? You, you suggest well, do you or not? What's, what's funny? What's funny is your approach of question. Why? Just answer case. the question. Because you know why it's funny. Yes or no. It. You I, either do or you don't, right? I ask a question, the answer is yes or no. Why can't you say yes or no? I believe in the Islamic system. Would you like Will Sharia law only, in this country? I would love. Yes or no? I would love to see you want Sharia No, no, answer the country. question. Never mind what I want. What do you want? I want to see is the Islamic system re-established... Would you like Sharia law? law in this country? Last time I'm going well, to ask if you. Sharia law, if Sharia just law... Just yes or no. If Sharia law means upholding family values, mm. means looking after the poor... Means no gays, no feminists, i.e. women who get above themselves, well, that's right? That's your caricature. No, that's your oh, ca I know what Sharia so, law so wants why women. Do so, why do so many women become Muslim these days? Because mm. do they so want to be oppressed. The Is that what you're going to tell me? No, no. Why, why do so many... Because they want to be oppressed. ...women in the world become Muslim these days? You tell me. Well, I don't, you better ask them. Well, why, why don't you tell why, me what you why, think? They, they seem to find it something that attracts them, Islam. Really? Yeah. OK. Many, many, many women in the West become Muslim. <clears throat> and for some reason, they seem to like the fact that... Islam, do you work with women doctors? Do you, yes, I do. And how, how do they feel about your views on this? I keep a very strict professional line between my... Do they know what your politics. views are? When they watch this, they're going to they're they're be surprised. Some of them will know, some of them will not yeah. know. Okay. Some of them will know, some of them will not know. OK. Doctor, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, you've been enlightening with your responses. You may not realise quite how enlightening, but you might find out when you see the reaction. But I appreciate you coming in. Thank you. You're welcome.